Hi there, I'm Scott from By The Brush Miniatures and today I'm going to show you how to create lava bases. The first thing you're going to need is some Mephiston Red and we're just going to start by base coating the whole base in Mephiston Red. Now once you've got that Mephiston Red base coat on the base, the next thing to do is get some Troll Slayer Orange and with that we're just going to apply a stipple just to certain areas of the base, just get a bit on the brush and for this I'm using the Vehicle Slash Terrain brush, basically the big army painter one and it's it's just a, just kind of taking it out of the pot and dabbing it onto the palette a bit, just working it into the bristles. You don't want it on all the bristles because you want the effect to be quite random. So now what we're going to do is just sort of stipple it on just like that in just some random areas. A bit more paint on the brush. Just working it into the bristles and then just using the corner. And once that's dry we're going to do the same technique again but this time with rat skin flesh. Now this paint's a little bit thicker so just be careful how you apply it. It shouldn't be much of an issue if you just use your palette, make sure that you're not putting too much on at once. That's about right. Then just over the top. Random areas. Don't worry if you hit some areas where you've already got some orange, it'll look just fine. And well, I think that's about right. Once that's all dry, we're going to apply a base coat of Ardcourt Gloss Varnish and what that's going to do is it's going to make it so when we put the crackle paints on it's going to basically have bigger cracks and it's just going to look a bit better. It's just going to give the effect that we want a bit better. So I'm just going to load quite quite a bit on my brush. I'm using the uh, Monster brush for this. Just quite a bit and put it on the palette. Yeah, that'll do because as I said, we want quite a thick coat of this. Just applying it all over the base. Once that dries, at first you're going to have a shiny effect, but don't worry about that because when we're done, it's going to, going to have disappeared by then. Now that the yard colt's fully dry, the next step is to apply some modern earth crackle paint to the base. Make sure that you give it a good shake first because that's going to make sure that everything's all mixed up and you'll get better cracks up. Now I'm going to apply this using a brush rather than a spreader and I'm going to be using a fairly large brush because the more paint that you have on, the more cracks you're going to get and it looks better. The deeper the cracks be, you get bigger cracks. So I'm just taking it from the pot and applying it straight onto the base. Just as I say, quite thickly. When we start to get to this point where you can't really use this brush anymore because it's a bit big, we're going to just switch to the texture spreading tool. We're just going to use that instead, just making sure that we are still getting some good gunks of, uh, of paint on there. Any areas where the red is still like really, really showing, you can just use the, use the slim end of it and pull it across. Now, rather than waiting for this to dry, what we're actually going to do is we're going to get a hair dryer. And the reason for that is because we want it to dry uh, air with heat and we want it to dry quickly because what that's going to do, the heat and the speed, all the air from the dryer, a, lot, a mixture of everything is just going to make the cracks a lot deeper and it's going to make the effect that we want much, much better. And make sure that you apply it in short bursts because otherwise you will just blast it, melt, melt some details, you don't want that. Now that's done and you can see we've ended up with this really nice volcanic looking effect. Only one problem remains, it still looks a little bit shiny. And the reason, the, the way we're going to deal with that is with this. This is Lamian Medium. This is quite an old pot but yours probably looks a bit different to this then. Not only will this actually matte down the shine, it's also going to seal down all of the cracks so it's going to stop them chipping off during things like gaming. For this I'm just going to use my regiment brush. Just get 
good amount of it on the palette then just apply it all over Finally, we're going to paint the rim of the base using Abaddon Black. And there we have a fully painted lava base. Now, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, you can consider subscribing. We've got tons and tons of things like this on the channel. If you want to support us, you can follow the links in the description to our Patreon. There's also our Instagram down there where you can have a look at some of the things we're working on, video content or our own project. Plenty of stuff to look at. And that's going to do it for this one, and I'll see you next time.